In this tutorial, Flash CS6, we're going to use code snippets to control a movie clip. Begin by finding a picture. You can draw it yourself, or you can just, uh, for practicing purposes, find a picture off the internet. And uh, note, uh, you'd have to be able to uh, uh, know how to save the image in Photoshop with transparency to bring an image off the internet. You save to your file, go File, Import to bring it to um, the stage properly with a transparent background. If you just copy and paste, it won't work. So assuming that you have a nice <clears throat> picture, let's um, make this into a nice movie clip symbol. So go to Properties, and you can see that we chose Movie Clip. You might have to right-click Convert to Symbol. Uh, when you convert to Symbol, you can choose the uh, Movie Clip option. Click on OK and then we're going to call this movie movie one so the idea of this being a movie allows us to fly into it and take care of some more detailed animations which we'll do shortly now how do we actually animate and control and move this using the arrow keys uh, one fast way of doing it is to use flash CSX's code snippets it's over here if you click on here there's this little section called the folder called animation and move with keyboard arrows. You can right click it, add to frame. So you can see that we have a <clears throat> on the same uh, frame one, uh, this layer called actions and there's a little uh, letter A there, it means there's code that was automatically stuck into the frame. And uh, let's just get a feel for what's happening here. So uh, this is a comment section, a block comment, where we have a slash star, and it's just ex explaining what's happening here. We have uh, a series of uh, variables here, and basically these are Boolean variables that are either true or false, and they're all initialized to false, just keeping track of whether uh, the, up button, the up arrow button has been pressed, the down arrow button has been pressed, as well as left and right. So what we have here is <coughs> some event listeners, so the movie itself, that little Goomba, is listening to see whenever we enter the frame. So whenever we actually enter uh, the frame, which is going to happen very um, often, many times per second, we're going to be calling this function called called FL, move in direction of key. And it, the function is right here. We also have event listeners. <clears throat> so whenever you press the key down, or whenever the the key is released and uh, the key goes is goes up, so let's just get a feel of what's going on here. So this uh, function is uh, called uh, every frame, and the idea uh, of um, the boolean variable, if the boolean variable is true, if up pressed equal equals true, so this is the equivalent of saying if up press equal equals true. This is the exact same code. It, however, it's not necessary. <clears throat> so in the case where uh, if up press button the state is true, then we're going to change movie one's y position minus equals five. And I'm going to say so this is the same as movie one dot y equals movie one dot y minus five. So this code is exactly the same. So basically, the the y position gets decreased by five. So the move, movie one ends up um, moving up five pixels. Remember, in <coughs> programming, the uh, the top left corner is a zero zero x y coordinates, and x increases as you go to the right, and y increases as you go down. This is the opposite of math in terms of the y's. The y's guys go up in math, but in computers y's go down when you when you're talking about the screen x y location so you can see that uh, when you press down we increase the y's position by 5 pixels and what about the left arrow when you press left uh, we actually move the x property so there's this magical property called y which refers to the movie clips y position and then there's there's an x property which refers to the movie clips x position on the screen all right, notice how if you're actually pressing, <clears throat> if both uh, you're pressing up and left, it is possible to actually um, call both uh, lines of code because it runs this code and then it checks this code. All right, let's take a look at uh, some other uh, functions here. So in the case where we actually uh, 
um, press a certain key. Uh, so what we have is <coughs> we have a switch statement, which is essentially a, a very similar to an if statement, and people can use either, either one, but just follow the pattern for now. We don't want to get bogged down in details. So basically, if in the case where the keyboard um, up is actually pressed, so we're talking about the event key code. So basically, uh, the, the computer detects that you um, that you uh, have uh, actually pressed the up arrow key. And then we're going to set the variable up pressed equals true. And for switch statements, we always need the break statement at the end of the line. Otherwise, uh, we start cascading into the other cases. So when you we break out of here and and we're done. So let's uh, remind ourselves of the variable called uppressed. Uppressed was that Boolean variable over here. And now you can see that instead of being false, if you are pressing up, it now becomes true. OK, so let's look at the, uh, the last function here. The last function is in the case where we actually um, <coughs> So this uh, last function here is dealing with the, the keyboard event key up. So we're calling uh, fl unset key, key press. So basically, if you release the key, it should unset it. So here, if we release the key up uh, key, then we're going to make the up press equals false. So basically, we're, we're uh, setting the, the state to false. So therefore, we don't uh, register an up uh, movement. So here is some action script 3 code that actually makes the character move. And when we actually run it, control enter, you can see that I'm actually simply using my uh, arrow keys. The, the interesting thing here is you can actually hold down two keys at the same time, and this is quite exciting. And just to add a little bit more pizzazz to this tutorial, I'm going to double click into the actual movie clip, and I'm going to make this uh, Goomba animate. We'll just say, uh, I'll uh, right click on frame five, insert. Uh, uh, <clears throat> insert keyframe and then I'm going to press F5. See F5 actually inserts some more frames so for one, two, three, four frames he's uh, like this and for one, two, three, four, whoops, one frame too many, press shift F5 to delete a frame. So I'm going to click on the second keyframe and I'm going to actually do a little change here. I'm going to go to modify, transform and flip horizontal and you can see that big foot ended up on the left. We flipped him horizontally. So you can see on frame one, he's like this. In frame five, he's like this. It looks like he's walking. Let's go back to scene one, control enter. And we now have a moving Goomba. And I feel like we're on track to making some epic games. Congratulations, and you now know how to use code snippets and have a better feel for what's happening with uh, uh, the code for moving movie clips.